Capricorn! What is going on, my dears? It is me, right? It is she, right? It is Viva, right? it is Scorpio, right? It's Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, to let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of August 2021. We are here to have some fun, baby. The party is just begun, my dears. It surely has, it surely has. So, um, I want to give a big shout out to all my OGs, a shout out to all my newbies, all my babies for coming through, like, sharing, and subscribing, and clicking this video. If there's anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading on thing you need to do is click the description box of this video or click the about tab on my YouTube page and I'll go ahead and get you all scheduled, alright? Uh... Send me a message on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have a uh, Instagram Messenger, just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll go ahead and get you all booked up and ready to go, okay? So Capricorn, you know, as we always do, we give acknowledgement to Father God, the Creator, the Universe, whatever it is, how Ever it is that you recognize him. Uh, we want to give him praises, acknowledgement, and love. Um... So if you wouldn't mind, just go ahead and bow your head with me real quick before we get into this reading. Father God, thank you so much for coming through for the sign of Capricorn. We thank you so much for raining down all of your blessings of success and glory because they don't know our story, Father God. We thank you so much for all of these beautiful, nice, juicy, amazing fruits that we have been able to bear, Father God. Listen, um, patience is a virtue Patience is a virtue and just making sure that we learn all of the lessons that we were meant to learn is about learning so that we don't have to repeat no chapters so that as we're moving further ahead, again, we ain't stumbling on no stones because we don't already took that tumble before we already know what to look out for, Father God. So I just thank you so much. Even though we might have went through some hard times, it helped us to refine our skills because again, once you go through something, you have to be an absolute fool to continue to keep tumbling the same way that you did a million times before so father god we just thank you so much for our growth father god give us the guidance that we need to receive for today we thank you so much for our daily bread and just every little bit of nourishment that you bring into our night father god we thank you so much for your loving hand and your protection over us in jesus name amen amen and amen hello amen all right so capricorn we got a bevy of decks here. We got some old ones. We got some new ones. We just about to go ahead and get on into this Capricorn. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here popping off for you guys for August. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Ha! <laughs> All right. Take a look at me. You look pretty as shit. I ain't even about to hold it. I ain't even about to hold it. This card is giving me a little vainness. It is giving me a little vain. A little vanity. You wanted to look at yourself on, in every angle. Jesus, you just got mirrors all over the place. But she looks so pretty. I'm, I'm a so serious. Do y'all see her? Do y'all really see how pretty her hair is? Do y'all really see her? It's like I'm not mad at you for admiring yourself, Capricorn. But make sure that you are not paying more attention to how you look in your appearance. And not paying attention to what's going on around you. You know what I'm saying? Um... This is a card to me of someone that is completely self-consumed and only worried about their self and how they look in every different angle. They're not thinking about the people around them and how other people feel. And even the decor, it's like she's not even concerned about how crazy her house looks with all of these mirrors all over the place. As long as she can see her reflection in every vantage point of this room she don't give a damn it's about what she wants do you understand what i'm saying and i don't know i definitely feel like you guys look hella good you feel that star energy i mean she look like she just got that shit tatted on her face look like and you see over here like there's a darker image of her um i don't know if you 
this was the picture of you when you first got your face tattoo versus what you have become now it's like you not no regular degular schmegular like bitch no more like you are stage three do you understand what i'm saying like you are stage fucking three honey let's see what this card says obsession delusion self-interest all right okay it says nature never deceives it is we who deceive ourselves. a stream of light penetrates a darkened room revealing a solitary figure like Miss Haven, whatever the hell her name is, from the great expectations, she sits in a world of her own isolation. Her reflections are her only accomplishment. She peers at herself yet again, reassuring herself with false truths. Mirrors do not lie. But her obsession does, indulging her only with images that she wants to see. Her excess, her excesses represents an ever increasing desire to create an ideal that is never achieved in reality, and is not even required. When we look in the mirror and see our true reflection as other would see it. And strip away the psychological makeup and ego and vanity. So, mm, Capricorn. I knew that. that could, but the bitch is beautiful though. Like she is. She is beautiful though. Let's see. Let's see. It's like, alright. Uh, mm -mm, before I say anything, let me get into this. Let me get into this. Let me get into this. Let's get into this. Give me guidance for Capricorn. You got the star, but she got the star on her face. Clearly, you know you a star. You know what you are. You definitely believe in yourself. You got the nine of wands. Give me one more. Oh, I kept seeing the damn devil card, too. I'm going to take this as well. Nine of pentacles. What else fell out here? Is this it? It's just one more card. I'll take it. Let's see. Is there anything else that fell? I feel like there was more than that that fell. No. Alright, so let's get into what we. Okay. So, you guys got the star. You have the Nine of Wands in the reverse, and then you got the Devil. You know? So, I want to say that in your pursuit of happiness and your wishes and things like that you can't just be open to anything because you may let in the wrong resource do you understand what i'm saying because it's like i want this and i want to achieve this so bad um but you got to take the right avenue because sometimes when you go this route, it's like you can obtain your wishes and your demands quicker because you didn't have a standard. You just were open to anything. You didn't block. You have to have boundaries. Do you understand what I'm saying? And someone that does not have boundaries can get wrapped up in the wrong things, trying to achieve reward, success, and acknowledgement. You'll get it fast, but it'll end quicker and it'll end harder. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, um, pay attention to who you're sharing your wishes to because you might just be sharing your wishes with someone or 
to someone that can grant your wishes, but you will be in long-term debt. Do you understand for allowing such an egregious favor to take place? Does that make sense? You got to have standards. You have to have boundaries. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because certain favors... It's this song um, with uh, uh, um, it's called Franchise uh, with um, Travis Scott and Young Thug. You know when he be like, "Talk to me nicely." Um, he say he says he says he spent up twenty five thousand. Tell the devil keep the luck. Right. A lot of times the devil is associated with luck. You know what I'm saying? When you hear people say. Um, I, I, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not lucky. I'm not. I'm blessed. I'm not taking get which crick schemes the, the the devil's luck. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking that. I'm not just open. I'm not going to expose myself to any backhand handshake type of deals and things like that. I really want to point that out because that is. Is is it is screaming to me? It's screaming to me. And then you got the page of pentacles, and then you have the nine of pentacles right here. So again, this is someone that is longing for financial success. I want to say financial freedom, freedom because with the nine of pentacles, that's financial freedom. That's being able to spend. And to sit back comfortably without worry. You see the page of pentacles here. Like this man. I want to say has had a hard life. Um, might have had a struggle with learning a little bit. Uh, Maybe in the beginning stage of trying to scrounge up and gain some type of resources. So it's like he went from the page of pentacles to the nine of pentacles quickly. Um, and... I don't know how you go from the Page of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles quickly. And you see this this person just is like focused on her appearance, on her being a star. You see that's on her face. Like that's her appearance. Like how people look at her, how she sees herself. And you know what I'm saying? You see the star right here. But the devil being attached to the star... And mm, it's like someone came up quickly. Mm, give me one more card over here. I don't know why I'm doing all of this extra shit for y'all. Because y'all ain't nobody else get all of these cards. But it's just on the tree. Give me one card. Thank you. You got the six of sports. So. Um, this is like, I heard it's like someone is trying to get away from some type of nightmare or someone is trying to, I want to say run away from some type of mistake because the, the, the six of swords is when someone is running away. It's like they're asking someone to help them. Get away quickly without being seen, without no one knowing. It's like, do you see this is kind of like a, a, a operation, an escape operation? You don't understand what I'm saying? It's like, no one must know. No one, like, who will ever know? No one will ever know. Who will know? No one will ever know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know. It's, I definitely feel like someone realizes that they have to escape they have to get away i want to say that they receive some type of money quickly um in a, in a very fast-paced way and typically pinnacles don't work like that pinnacles is like you gotta put invested time pinnacles don't just fall on your lap like that that's why i'm saying it's like it was like the devil's luck like someone just let in any type of resource that say oh yeah i'll help you get some money like you want money you want to look 
a certain way you want to be able to spin you want to be able to do this yeah just sign over these papers just do you know what i'm saying it's like mm -mm. give me guidance on what i'm feeling here because it's like it could have something to do with some type of worry about how people view you and it's like you need this money you got the community and wealthy and a wealthy man. So I don't know if this is because it's, it's like the star. It's like wishing and this is like some type of faith of some sort. But it's like something without protection and because like the the nine of wands is someone standing their ground, protecting their self, guarding their self. The devil has to do with lust, addictions, anything fast paced, anything quick, anything without moral, without reserve, without care. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know if this has something to do with... Um, Like getting rich by by means of other like wealthy men or something like that. I don't know, cause this could very much so. This could very much so be. I don't know if it's someone that is like in the community in search of a wealthy man. It's like their appearance is very important to them because it helps them allure and attract. Healthy man, I don't want to, I don't know why I feel like you might be having unprotected sex or to. I don't know why it's like something without boundaries, without recourse or remorse. It's, I want to say it makes you feel good. Um. Uh, and it brings you money. And it's like they bring you money. But then you leave. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Uh, it's like as long as you feel like a star in these people. It's like something is about some type of sexual gratification for money and gifts and expenses. And it makes you look good. It makes you feel good. And then you leave. And then you do it again. I don't know. It's like just a. Uh, Oh, God, did I just mix up all my cards? Please tell me no. No, I didn't. Okay. Woo! Y'all, this is just like a lot. I want to say like someone's faith-based is wrapped up in the wrong shit. It's like someone allowed the wrong type of inf the wrong shit to influence their, their system. It's like everything is all wrapped up in this warped mindset of fast-paced money looks. Because even the Nine of Pentacles is someone that is concerned with money, concerned with their finances, living a rich and abundant life. That's what she's concerned about. Dating wealthy men. Uh, This is a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot. I don't want to do all of that. I'm sorry. Can you please just give me two cards, please? I'm already doing a lot. This has a lot to do with sex. This has a lot to do with a se something in a sexual nature. Because the devil has a lot to do with the control as well. You got the magician in the perverse. Again, like I'm saying, it's like someone. It's like you have some type of gift. You have some type of experience. The star, again, it's like someone has some type of gift. They have some type of privilege. Um. Again, you see a woman that's naked. So it's like she can have a very strong self-belief. You know, um, I don't, oh God, why do I want to say it's like she don't even be protected. She may like let anybody in almost. 
it's like the community it's like this is someone she may have she may even be a star like in a in a in a uh, it's like I don't want to say this but like maybe um a sex worker or something like that but the thing is just like I want to say that this person does not protect herself she she just she is just open to she's just open like she may take any suitor as long as it pays well do you and because she's planning on she's not planning on being there that long any fucking way do you understand what I'm saying it's like a temporary sensation it's temporary sensation it's as long as these men can these wealthy men these wealthy men continue to come and bring me money these are all new things because remember this is the page so these are things that are new these people don't really know you you don't know them they just bring you money. You collect the coins from these wealthy men and then you dip. You understand what I'm saying? And it's like you get assistance to be able to flee. And it come. It's like. Oh. God. I don't like this. But I mean people do what the fuck they do. It's like I'm not knocking nobody. You got the princess of cups too with the wealthy men. So you got the princess of cups. So this is someone that comes off. Like, very young, naive, like, inexperienced to these wealthy men. This woman knows exactly what the fuck she's doing. She knows what she's offering. She wants the big fish. She comes off like she's very talented. She's um, a wordsman, a words play, uh, uh, I, I don't know why I want to say words, word playmanship. Like, she's very, um, poetic and she's very, um, Seems like she wears her heart on her shoulder. It's a very kind and, and loving person. Like that's what it seems like. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. This is like a seductress, a temptress. The magician in the reverse, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's saying. She knows how to dumb herself down and seem like an innocent individual to get people to give her money and things. Like, I promise you, like, this bitch is <laughs> fucking she's a mastermind like she's ruthless with this shit like, she has no emotions no care in the world she feels she feel, i want to say legendary like this is legendary pimping here it's like i want to say like a sex worker like this is what she does only thing i swear it's like this bitch don't wear no protection with nobody and i don't like that shit that's like giving me dirty that's giving me like no standards like it's like especially if these people give her money for like having sex with no condom uh, sure no condom like it's something like that we got the seven of hearts the seven of hearts is like comfortable being familiar second chances um i want to say like pastime type of shit then you got the queen of clubs so the Queen of Clubs is someone that is attractive, that is um, a go-getter, that's a good, it's a, a slick talker. She's a slick talker. She knows how to read people. She knows how to entertain. She's an entertainer. Do you understand? Queen of Clubs, she's an artist. Like, she is a outstanding looker. Um... The queen, like she can be known as like the, like the queen of wands, like the queen of wands is like the uh, a magician as well. It's like she's a temptress, she's a seductress, she's the femme fatale. It's a Jesus. The queen of clubs, attractive, dark woman, um, dark hair, um, sociable, independent, self-assured, strong, confident, outgoing, flirtatious, sensational, um. Feminine, passionate lover, very sexual, I told you. Creative, playful, I told you. Indulges in gossip, entertains drama, temperamental, attracts others easily, secretive. And, and again, I want to say, like, um, I don't know why I want to say tropical, like she could be exotic, uh, 
she can have like a foreign background or something like that. The seven of hearts again, like I said, represents uh I want to say second chance. It says count your blessings, self-expression, second chances, letting God bygones be bygones, good vibes, true love, appreciation, affection, romance, pleasure, no resistance, co-creating with source, mysticism, premonitizations, desires granted. See it in your mind's eye first. Commitment. Wealthy man, bruh. I'm trying to tell you. Let me check my phone and see what they say for the seven of hearts. The seven of hearts means peaceful surroundings, healing. Steady improvement, happy surprises, cycles of life, second chances, opportunities to redo something, something that comes in two. Mm. Interesting. Let's see here. I don't, ooh. Again, it's like some type of offering to wealthy men. It's like. You know what I'm saying? It's like in search for a wealthy man, trying to start something, looking for the big fish. Yo. So you have no idea what the fuck this person is getting at. This. Oh my gosh. And this woman is a fucking mess. She's definitely looking for financial security. And again, I, I, it's like um, distorted feminine. Oh my goodness. And then what is this? The silver waterfall. So distorted feminine and then the, the silver waterfall. What this is basically saying is it's like someone is going through something where I want to say that they don't recognize the toxicity that exudes from them or maybe that this behavior is toxic it's like you're very attractive but well, I don't want to say very demented but it's like your behavior is very reckless um I don't I don't know who the silver waterfall is like when people realize that they've gone through a lot and it's like coming through this silver lining in their life where it's like they really want to just come to God naked and pure. And whatever it was that they are, whatever they know, they just want to walk through to the other side and have a clean view of peace and prosperity and, and love. And, you know, it's like I don't have to go through. I don't have to go through. Um, this unwillingness to comply or or this constant level of just drama or like not having a faith in the right things or just doing the right things like the silver waterfall God do I have to read this fucking shit because let me let me find it y'all Here it is. Okay, so it says the silver waterfall. Many people feel like they're always picking up other people's negative energy and want to know how to protect themselves from this unpleasantness. They perceive the negativity to be out there and believe that if they can shield themselves from it, that they will feel better. The truth is, we all carry negative energies and positive energies. And we all have times in our life where we feel low. To truly feel lovable and abundant, you will need to engage with whoever or whatever comes to you without feeling like you need some sort of defense. Not only does your aura or personal energy feel experience, uh, 
the highs and lows of everything that's going on around you. So does your nervous system and all of the cells in your body. You are like a finely tuned instrument that is constantly testing the atmosphere for anything unusual, unfamiliar, unfamiliar, unfamiliar or threatening. It is all out there. But um, barricading yourself against the world is not the solution. The best way to stay balanced in a healthy world is to uh raise your own vibrations in as many ways as possible this means eating nutritious foods looking after your body um with rest and exercise feeding your mind with uplifting materials like beautiful music books movies and regular contact with nature and cleansing yourself at the end of the day I'm not about to read any more of that it's too long I'm so sorry <laughs> I am so the fuck sorry about that but I really feel like again it's it's something about someone's outlook and their perception of life and what they feel what is their perception of what they see and what they think makes them look good and benefits them and what makes them happy it's like Again, distorted, feminine. I don't know how. I don't. I don't know what else to tell you. But if if you feel like this is your standard of life and what meets you well, what the fuck can I tell you? Only thing I can tell you is use a fucking condom. And you can fuck as many rich, rich men as you want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is calling in your soulmate. What is this? True love. So you got calling in your soulmate and then you got true love. Um, I feel like regardless of how this person goes about their life and carries themselves, because the way that they're carrying themselves is like a high priced prostitute. I'm sorry. I'm just because <laughs> I'm not about to play with y'all at all. I'm so not. And again, if this energy does not resonate, it does it's not meant for you. You know what I'm saying? If this message is not meant for you, y'all be responsible. Y'all already know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So, I want to say that whoever this is really does want love. Um, you really have to pay attention. Like, instead of looking in this mirror and seeing what you want to see and what you're telling yourself makes you that bitch. Really look at yourself and see what you really see. Your obsession, your obsession about money fucking rich men living a certain lifestyle looking a certain way all right that's cool but look beyond that bullshit that, like take all that shit off take all that shit off be as naked as the day you was born take all that makeup the fake hair all that bullshit off what do you really believe in what is all of this shit what what is it what is it really bought you Because if it bought you that much, you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be letting your guard down like that. Letting foolishness like this in. You still wouldn't be searching. You see what I'm saying? You would have that nine of pentacles and you would be happy. Do you understand what I'm saying? You wouldn't be trying to operate like this. And these poor innocent men, like this boy, don't got no idea what the fuck he's like. Ain't he about to leave with his it's like someone that's like literally just trying to get money. I don't feel like trying to get love. But at the end of the day, after all of that is said and done, it's like, yeah, you got the money and all of this shit like that. You got clothes or whatever it is that makes you happy. But you don't have the love. Although it may make you look better, it don't make you feel better. And that's the difference. And that's why you're still searching. And you can't you can't search for something that's long lasting with a soul like this. You just you can't. Or going into something with old toxic behaviors and patterns and stuff like that. And then you got the tower and then you got the four of, of wands. So like this is some type of I uh, you know, this, you can look at this two two different ways. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you got going on now is going to be destroyed so it can reinforce what the true de definition of love 
and commitment, good partnerships, real foundation is it's like something needs to be your thought in your mind of what love is and what prosperity is because someone did lie to you like if this is what they told that you got to do all of this shit you are lying to yourself you, you need to get rid of this it by some way something is going to happen that is going to tear all it's going to strip your ass down Cause that's not a good belief. Like, did uh, it should take all of your beautiful gifts and you're using it in all of the wrong ways to gain temporary, a temporary come up, temporary satisfaction, temporary gratification. You want something that's going to last forever. And regardless of what you tell yourself, you love the money, but you want love too. You want the love and the money. You can. Lie to yourself every day and tell yourself that this looks great. I look great. I feel great. I got money. I my hair. I can do this. Like, what are the lies that you're telling yourself that is helping you to get through the day? Okay, because the lies that you're telling yourself, and the longest you keep yourself out in the community, because this shit right here, mark my words, something about to happen. I'm about to tear all of this shit down. And yeah, it's about to sit down. Your ass about to sit down. Because something is going to happen to reinforce positive connections in your life. Because you can't continue to go on and live like that. You understand what I'm saying? It's not positive. It's not healthy. And all of this shit without protection. I got to go. Anyway, I love y'all. Whoever needs to see this video, y'all please forward the video to them. Peace. I'm <laughs> sorry.